God has chosen you. God has put something in your heart. And it's time that it came forth. You thought you were just following something around in circles in your life. But God had a greater plan in mind. And he's been trying to get you to a place where you can hear the word of God and so it unlocks your heart, unlocks your call, unlocks your destiny and you walk into what God has. Something is stirring tonight because we're going from glory to glory to glory by the Spirit of God. We're going from grace to grace. And just like Joram prayed, the ceiling has just come off your life tonight and you're beginning to realize anything's possible. Samuel began to prophesy to Saul and tell him everything about his life. And then he said, go. And the Bible says that as Saul turned away, he received a new heart. The word had come in such a way that it gave him a new heart. The little shepherd boy that was looking after donkeys. Suddenly realized he was chosen by God. And it happened as the word came forth under that anointing. It wasn't just the word alone, the dry word. But it was an anointed word. It was a word that came to Saul's ears through that anointing that covered him from head to toe. Because it is the anointed word of God that will change your situation and change your life and change your problems in Jesus' name. It's that anointed word that will bust open the gates of hell over your life and bring you into a new season with God. Is someone here ready for a new season with God? Do you know you've called here tonight because you're chosen? You're chosen to carry this anointing from one side of the island to the other. You're called to be an ambassador to the King of Kings. You're called to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. And these signs shall follow those that believe. In my name they shall cast out demons. In my name they shall heal the sick. 
They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. In my name they shall speak in new tongues. I want everyone to stand in this place. God gets us to that place, guys. It's a point in time where your heart and your ears are ready to hear a word that can change your life. Saul was never the same again as soon as he knew he was chosen. And we are chosen. And like Saul, we are anointed. And like Saul, we have a new heart. And like Saul, we are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. A holy nation called by God to proclaim the praises of Him who brought us out of darkness and into His marvelous light. Hallelujah. Lift your hands right now. Lift your hands to the Lord. 